guys, so today I'm going to be doing a really quick special video to introduce you guys to my brand new puppy. If you guys follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you probably would have seen pictures of him already because I have been posting and taking pictures of him non-stop. So I thought it would be fun to just bring him on here so you guys can see what he looks like. Currently he is running all over the place because he is like, what and who are you talking to right now? So let me grab, oh god. Let me grab him. So here he is. He is a four month old Yorkie boy and he actually just turned four months yesterday. So happy belated birthday. He's bored. <laughs> he hates this. Actually he's being really good right now. I gave him a treat before and he was satisfied. Then we played for a while so he's a little bit tired out but um, he is a really good boy. Me and my boyfriend decided to get a puppy together because we both really wanted one. He's never had one of his own and I've always loved dogs. I've had a lot of them and if you guys have been following me for a while I do have another dog who is a white Maltese Pomeranian mix. She lives with my parents and I would never take her away from them because she loves being there and they love having her so she's pretty much taken my place over at their house and I really wanted to have another puppy. We did tons and tons of research before we did end up choosing him. I was constantly online doing research and trying to contact people locally and it just didn't end up working out and then I finally came across this listing from a family who had a new litter of Yorkie puppies and when I saw his picture for the first time I fell in love with him right away and I knew I wanted to take him home with us. So we were in contact with that family for a while and we wanted to adopt him. We knew about a month ahead that we were going to have him before he was coming home to us because we needed to wait until he was old enough to be separated from his parents and his siblings and whatnot. So we got him about a week after when we returned from the Bahamas and I was seriously going crazy watching his videos over and over that the family was sending over to us and looking at his pictures and whatnot. I was just super super excited to have him here with us and he is such a good boy. He is the smallest in his litter. I think his litter came with like three or four boys and just one girl and he was the smallest little runt. He weighed about two pounds when we picked him up the first day and I think he weighs a little bit more than that now but his hair has gotten really long. But I just think he's really cute in general. I think he's a sweet boy. He has a really really cute personality and he does nap pretty often right now because he is just a little guy so he plays all day long and then he gets tired so he takes tons of naps and he loves to curl up next to us whenever he's tired and he will automatically just just like knock out. It's the funniest thing. But if you follow me on Snapchat, you probably would have seen videos of him sleeping and napping and whatnot because it's the cutest thing on earth. He kind of like sleeps on his back like a human and his legs are all dangly and stuff. Or else he will literally curl up in a tiny little ball next to you and he will just be the most content little puppy ever. He's tired. This is what he does when he's tired. He's such a little baby. I swear he acts like a human being sometimes when he's tired. He just like snuggles up on you and he will actually sleep on us. He really likes to like curl up on us and I think it's because like the warmth from our body heat or just us breathing it like calms him down and it makes him feel safe. So he actually likes sleeping on us a lot and he will actually fall asleep just from me carrying him like this. So his favorite toys are these like squeaky toys and his absolute favorite one is this little bear which is small enough to fit in his mouth so he loves this he's chewed this up like crazy but it's missing an arm as you can see and it's slobbered all over but he loves this he will actually go and carry this into his crate and sleep with it and his other one is this little ducky which also squeaks and we also got this big huge one which we didn't know if he would like it but he actually loves carrying this around and it's the funniest thing to see this squeaks as well but he does love to play fetch with these little things and he knows how to go and get it and drop it right at your feet so it's super cute and he's really really good at that and he knows how to sit and lay down and he's trying to learn other tricks but he's way too excited about his little treats but overall he's a very smart healthy and happy little puppy and I'm super happy to have him here with us he has this little pet hut that we got for him which is kind of like a little bedroom and it's really cute so we have all his toys in there and he sometimes goes and sleeps in there but he is crate trained his crate is in our bedroom so when we go to sleep he goes to sleep he actually has a really good sleep schedule I think the family that had him before us they really trained him very well because he took to the training pads really quickly and he also sleeps through the night really well too sometimes he wakes up in the middle of the night to go potty but then he goes right back to bed which is really really good um, I just think he's a really really good sleeper because I've never had a dog who's like really willing to just 
sleep whenever. Me and Peter decided to name him Batman because it's a very unique and funny name because that's just our personality and we really wanted to have a very different name for him and because he has a full black coat and his little ears are pointed like a little bat so I thought that was really cute and I just think it's really funny but I've been contemplating making him a separate Instagram account just because I have literally taken so many pictures of him and I'm sure you guys are kind of sick of seeing my dog's pictures all over my feed but I thought that would be kind of cute just to like keep track of his progress and how much he's grown and stuff and that way you guys can keep up with him too if you're interested. But that's basically all I look at on Instagram anyway are like cute animal pictures and puppy pictures and stuff like that so if you guys have pet pictures and pet accounts leave me a comment down below because I would love to check out your pet pictures. I seriously probably follow more animal and pet Instagrams more than like actual human beings but if I do think of an Instagram account for him I will add it on the screen or somewhere down below and you guys can check it out but I'm going to let him free so he can go play now and I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Batman and you will see more of him in the future. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh! He is so over this video now so I will see you guys later. Before I forget, I will also be attending BeautyCon here in Dallas and I'm super, super excited. So if you guys are going, make sure to let me know and I can't wait to meet and see you guys and take pictures with you guys. So check out my links below if you want to keep up to date with me. We will see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>